You have several options for controlling the playback of video files when authoring in the Flash environment. This is a distinct advantage over authoring in Dreamweaver. For example, you can use the FLV playback component as one option. That's what I've added to this FLV file here. The playback component is this play button, the scrubber bar, and the volume control, the mute button there. I dragged it from the components window, the FLV playback player 8. I just dragged and dropped it onto the FLV file. This is new to Flash Professional 8, and this component lets you quickly add a full-featured FLV. You can even add MP3 playback control by using the FLV playback custom user interface elements, the volume bar right there, which is a very handy way to control MP3 playback. This FLV playback component is available only in Flash Professional 8 and provides support for both progressive downloading and streaming of FLV files. FLV playback lets you easily create intuitive video controls for users to control video playback as well as the ability to apply pre-made skins or to apply your own custom skins to the video interface. I devote an entire section of this course to these FLV playback components, so let me move on now to showing you how to control external video playback using ActionScript. You can play back external FLV files in a Flash document at runtime using the Net Connection and Net Stream ActionScript objects. For more information, about this, see the topic about playing back external FLV files dynamically in the Flash Help area. You can control video playback for embedded video using behaviors. Here I have the behavior window open, accessible by choosing window, behaviors. And I have here an embedded video in the timeline. There's my timeline there with the video. And I have a series of interface buttons, rewind, pause, play, and mute. If I click on the mute button, you can see that here in the behaviors panel on release, I'm going to stop all sounds. I can choose that by choosing sound, stop all sounds. I can also click on the play button, and I've added here under the category embedded video, play, and the rewind uses the rewind behavior, and the pause uses the pause behavior. Notice I also have fast forward and stop. Let me demonstrate how these work by doing a control test movie for this. Notice that I'm using built-in interface buttons, but you can con create your own buttons to create your own custom interface. Again, this is these behaviors are for embedded video. And I can pause the movie, rewind it, play it again, and so on. Again, a very fast, convenient way for adding either built-in controls or custom buttons that you can create and then add behaviors to them. The only thing you'll need to remember to do when adding these behaviors is make sure in the Properties Inspector you provide an instance name for the embedded video. There's my embed movie name. That's the only thing you need to do. And then just drag and drop the behaviors on the individual buttons. Now you can also control video playback in the timeline itself. If you're comfortable with ActionScript, you can write custom ActionScript to control video playback. Here in the timeline, you can play or stop a video. You can also jump to a frame and control video in other ways. You can also display a live video stream from a camera. Now, before you can add on-demand or pre-recorded video to your web page, you must acquire the video and encode it. This involves converting it to the Macromedia Flash FLV format and also encoding it. I'll be covering these topics in much more detail later in the course, but let me summarize this process of encoding and creating Flash video files in the next movie.